Okay, Woman's World, August 30th, 2021. We're going to do probably the first few pages before I stop and just go call and find out where is the company at. So fill your week with smiles. August 29th is Lemon Juice Day. Uh, and then September 1st through 30th is National Sewing Month in September. Also, September 1st is American Chess Day, so go out there and play chess. The second is National Blueberry Popsicle Day. It says to make blueberry popsicles, add two cups of fresh or frozen blueberries, one-fourth a cup water, one-fourth a cup sugar, and one tablespoon of lemon juice to a blender. Puree, then pour the mixture into a popsicle mold, add sticks, place in the freezer for at least four hours, and it makes four popsicles. Uh, September 4th is National Hummingbird Day, so enjoy those little hummers. And joke of the week, patience is a virtue. A woman asks God, God, is it true that you, a billion years, is like a second? God said yes. The woman asked, is it true that to you, a billion dollars is like a penny? God said yes. The woman asked, God, can I give have a penny? God thought for a minute and then said, sure, just a second. Uh, we have a couple here. She's looking at her cell phone. He looks tired. He's filling her coffee cup. It says, face ID doesn't work until my second cup. Ha, ha, ha. And here's a joke. What? Why was the broom late for school? And the answer, because it was overswept. We have a cat in front of a man that looks like it's looking for a job. It says, it's about your reports, Mittens. It is as if you walked across the keyboard, laid down, and rolled over a hundred times, then took a nap on it. Okay, moving forward. Okay, next paper clip takes us to where? Uh, the Power of Love Story. About how the crop swaps are filling bellies and hearts. And it says, when Jamie Harrigan's garden yielded more than he could eat, he decided to share his fresh food with his neighbors and planted a seed of love that would grow into a mission to feed his community and beyond. There's no way we can eat all of this, Jeremiah Hagan's thought, plucking tomatoes and kale from his backyard garden in the Los Angeles, having started his plot to ensure that his wife, Gina, and three-year-old daughter, Trina, would have healthy foods to eat. Jemiah was surprised at the success of his simple backyard crop, but as his yield continued to grow, he knew his little family would never be able to eat all the yummy produce on their own. I need to find someone to share it with, he mused. Suddenly, an idea sprang into his mind. Maybe I can post in an app that connects my neighbors and see if any of them could use any fresh greens. As it turned out, as Jeremiah posted the question, does anyone want to come over and swap produce? Scores of neighbors began replying immediately, and before long, Jeremiah had found his newfound friends and created their own crop-swapping group, which met in his backyard every month to share their harvest. But when the COVID-19 pandemic brought their monthly gatherings to a halt, a question began to form in Jeremiah's mind as he thought of all the people out of work and struggling to feed their families. How can we make produce more accessible to everybody in the community, he thought. When suddenly he remembered an idea he had once had creating a communal garden in the unused yards and spaces in the neighborhood to feed those who needed it the most. Planting a seed. That's it, Jeremiah thought. As his mind was buzzing with excitement, I can make a garden in the neighborhood with a water system that reuses rainwater to help it grow. We have to find someone who will let us use their yard, Jeremiah announced to Gina, who has shared their idea with a co-worker who volunteered his yard, a thousand square foot space that Jeremiah named Asante Microfarm. Asante means thank you and in Swahili. Soon became the first water recycle garden of its kind as Jeremiah and his volunteers began planting rows and rows of produce like kale and tomatoes. Their work piqued the interest of the members of the community who began offering their help too. As word of the garden spread beyond the neighborhood, others began to recognize Jeremiah's produce initiative as something as the community was in need of. Before he knew it, Jeremiah was shocked to receive the grant of $50,000 from the LA 2050 Grants Challenge to help his project grow. This is just when we what we needed, Jeremiah celebrated with his family. Now we can start a service for our neighbors to subscribe to each month and receive fresh produce every week. We'll call it Crop Swap LA, an ode to where it all began. Food for the Soul. With the garden taking shape, Jemiah hired seven staff members to maintain the garden and harvest the veggies. With the people signing up to receive produce, Jemiah was able to donate 10% of each harvest to the community fridge. 
Wow, feeding the community and helping those in need. Jeremiah said aloud as he stood before the rows of emerald crops, This is what I always dreamed of. Today, Asante Microfarm grows 600 edible plants, and from boy choy to basil, lettuce to eggplant, and even pears. But aside from feeding people, the garden has become a source of inspiration. We feel healthier, and we always are excited to taste the food, one family told Jemiah as they hit, as they bit into a ripe potato. Pota- I'll say it in a minute. Tomato. It tastes like candy. I'm so inspired by you, an eight-year-old volunteer told him. You're my hero. It is clear from the messages Jemiah receives from people across the country that scores of others feel the same and have been moved to start their gardens in their backyard to fill the need in their own community. For Jemiah, knowing that his dreams is making such a positive impact in the world, fills his heart with joy. The garden has created an atmosphere of love and compassion, he says, beaming. Its success makes me feel like anything is possible. I have a phrase that I repeat with my daughter when we need it. I'm strong. I'm inspiring. I'm confident. I'm kind. If you're strong, inspiring, confident, and kind in everything you do, you cannot fail. Anything we want to do that is helpful to the world is possible. Maggie Dillard is the author. Three way, easy ways to feed your community. Harvest for the hungry. If every gardener plants one row of vegetables to donate a significant impact that can be made to reduce hunger, says Garden Writers Association, have a garden, join the Plant a Row initiative by visiting gardencom, that's C-O-M-M dot org backslash P-A-R, that's big capital letters, P like Paul, A like Apple, R like Ralph, and click Make a Par Donation. Then click Find a Food Agency to discover where to donate the surplus from one extra row in your garden. Two, start a mini pantry. Use an old bookshelf, credenza, or newspaper vending box to make a mini pantry for your community. Place it somewhere in town that is accessible to people in need and invite your friends and neighbors to stock it with canned goods and non-perishable food items. Even more, visit littlefreepantry.org to register your pantry on the website's map. Feed a Hungry Child Support causes such as nokidhungry.org, which provides free school breakfast meals during the summer and backpacks full of food to kids in need. Click the Ways You Can Help tab to find out how you can donate to fundraise, visit places where you can dine, shop, and the brands that give a portion of their proceeds to the cause. We'll stop there. I'll pick up with you all later. That's a good portion of the first part of the uh, Woman's World 30 2021 that I've covered with you. I'm anxious to get an answer from Consolidated. That's our company, so I will give them a jingle and see where they are at. Thank you and tune in later.